On the 7th of June, my husband Casey and I were blessed with uh, welcoming twin daughters, Katie and Andy, and they came home healthy and ready to take on the world. Uh, on the 20th of August, we are getting ready to go to a, a Dragon Ball Festival, and we had them in their car seats in the back hall, getting ready to put them in the car like we normally do. My husband proceeded to take Katie out to the car and I went to the kitchen to fill up a water bottle to take with me. It was a nice sunny day and when I came back into the back hall I couldn't have been gone for more than two minutes. I looked down at Andy and she was blue. First it was a, a moment of confusion and then it was, it was panic and I lifted her out of her car seat and she was, she was limp and not breathing. So at that time my husband walked in and I, I was starting to panic a little and I said, Casey, Andy's, Andy's blue. He proceeded to scoop her up, take her into the living room and start doing CPR. The only thing I could think to do was obviously to get on the phone and call 911. At that point in time, I could hear my husband say, good, good girl, Andy. So I knew that she was getting some air in. Uh, the first responders showed up and they took her in. Um, they attempted to put a breathing tube in and, and she arrested again. Uh, at that point in time, they started CPR. Uh, it took about an hour for them to get her stable enough to be transported up to the neonatal intensive care unit. And uh, so probably at 8 p.m. that night, so maybe eight hours after we were, I was filling up my water bottle, getting ready to go to a Dragon Ball race, I found myself uh, in the, the neonatal intensive care unit with my two and a half month old on a, on a ventilator, breathing for her, you know, not knowing what was gonna happen next. We were in the NICU for two weeks. Um, it took about three days for her to be taken off the paralytic, so she was able to hold my hand. Uh, and then uh, about day five, we were able to take the ventilator off, so she was strong enough to start breathing on her own. Um, she had what, what many babies are born with. They're called hemangiomas, very uh, small capillaries that normally are on the outside of uh, a newborn baby. They just look like little red dots. And she was, was born with or had developed one in her neck um, about, about the size of a golf ball. And uh, that, that's what had, had bled and caused her lungs to, to fill up with blood and for her not to be able to breathe. Uh, so I can tell you today, it's the end of October. Uh, Katie and Andy are four and a half months old. They are happy, healthy, developing babies, um, big Oilers fans, and uh, we, we could not be more grateful for the fact that Andy is, is here with us and here with her sister today. When my husband and I got home and we reflected on what had happened to us over the last two weeks, we realized how lucky we were. Had he not been there that day, um, she, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't have made it until the first responders got there. Uh, there's no question that her daddy saved her life. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am that his company had sent him to that CPR class. And that's why I'm here, that's why I'm sharing this story, to encourage all of you to make this one of your annual life skills. You, your family members, um, everyone in your household, to, to keep us all safe.